Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is time for a fabulous video. It is our fall skincare collab video. This is um, with my beautiful friends on, my, on the Facebook group, Ladies Who Collab. I will of course link that down below. I will link all of the ladies that are doing this video down below. Please take time to go see all of their videos and please subscribe because that is why we do this. We want to open everyone up to um, all of the beautiful women in this group because it really is a fabulous group of ladies. Um, now, why are we doing this video? Well, that's because everyone's skin is about to change. And what we like to use at this time of the year as opposed to, say, summer. Because most people's skin changes. Now, what is my skin like? Hmm, that would be helpful to know before I show you any skincare or or suggest any skincare, right? Um, a couple of years ago, I would say that I had super duper oily skin. Super duper oily skin. But um, actually more like five, six years ago, I would say I had really oily skin. But I ended up having to start taking thyroid medication. Thyroid is, was super high, super high. Um, of course, it's not anymore due to my plexus. Um, but if you have any questions, you can link that down below. I always leave my plexus website down below. But that has leveled out my thyroid, thank goodness. But I think that was the cause of my skin turning dry. That and let's just face it, I'm getting older and so your skin changes when you get older. But I am dry. This is where I am the driest, right under my nose and all around my mouth. If I ever use any skincare that dries my skin out, that is where it gets red and peels and everything else. I can get oily in the nose area and kind of my t-zone area that's not every day but um that is where i can get oily if i'm going to get oily um so i guess you can say dry to combo right so um summer let's talk about summer spring um, the be it's just beautiful outside. It's hot. That's when you're going to get oily. So generally during the summer, you don't have to wear anything on your skin that's going to be like moisture surging, you know, like just dousing your skin with, um, moisture. When you turn into fall, winter, the dry biscuits, um, really you're going to have to start packing on more of that moisture. Um, in summer, I pretty much do, um, I'm always going to use a hyaluronic acid. This is one from Timeless that I use. It's a big old mama bottle. Um, I use this year round because my skin doesn't care what time of year it is. If it's going to get dry, it's going to get dry. Um... I always have my Bubba Cup, my big 52-ounce Bubba Cup. Drink water, 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 water. Do that year-round. So, um, <clears throat> I used my hyaluronic acid um, during spring and summer this year. I used this moisturizer, which was fine for that time of year. It's not something that's going to, like, boom, I'm like, you know, 10 years younger in the morning because I have so much moisture. But it is very moisturizing for that time of year. Um, moisturizing enough. You know what I'm saying? Um, so let's switch to winter, fall. I'm going to really hone down. Well, first, first, let me show you. I do have a sleeping mask that used that time of year. This was a firming sleeping mask. So we'll use that as our catalyst to take us into fall and winter. This is a firming sleeping mask by Laneige, however you want to say that. Get that at Target. It's a fabulous mask. It soaks into your skin. Um, I do like this one, but for fall and winter, I will be purchasing their moisture sleeping mask, and they do have that. That's something 
that um, I can put on. It soaks into your skin and hopefully in the morning I will be waking up all beautiful and plump. But I do not have that yet, so I do not have that to show you. But again, I will be trading the firming in for the moisture sleeping mask. Um, another thing that I highly recommend in the fall and the winter is a good facial spray. This is the one I have right now. It's Yes to Grapefruit. Um, it says it's a pore perfection toning mist. I do like this one. I really do like the B6 vitamin spray from um, Our Urban Decay. I will be purchasing that um, to spray on my face because basically all year round your face needs vitamins. It needs some nutrients and if you have dry skin, anything like that you put on your skin is going to appreciate. So really do like that. I guess I should say real quick. Um, I do not have super, well, I mean, I have sensitive skin, because, but I don't like break out all the time. You know what I mean? So I don't have to worry about that with products. I mean, I wear my makeup to work out a title, so that tells you how unsensitive in that respect I am. Um, another thing that I like pulling out in the winter or fall or winter is a skin cosmetics product. I hadn't talked about them in a while, right? But this is the Hydro Surge Deep Moisture Lifting Treatment with Amino O2. Um, this is fabulous. It really is. Um, it is just a serum. Um, of course, it does not. It is blue, but it does not turn your face blue, but totally gives you some moisture. So this is one thing that I add in the nighttime. Um, that is where I'm going to put most of the moisture things on my face because at nighttime, your skin, that's kind of when it gets in its repair phase. Um, so that is something that I'm going to be using. I've had this for a while. Um, I do keep it in a drawer so there's no you know, light that gets to it so it does stay in good form. So again, that is Skin Cosmetics. Hydro Surge Deep Moisture. Love it, love it, love it. And it does work. Um, the next thing I can highly recommend, if you don't use a face oil um, any other time of the year, pull it out during the fall and the winter because your skin really needs it. It's asking, come on, give it to me, give it to me. Um, I like this one. It is a certified organic rose hip oil. There are many face oils out there. You can get them in the drugstore. I like this one. There are others that I have liked as well. Um, I really like the Sunday Riley oils. If you want to spend some money, Sunday Riley. Or you can wait till the Sephora VIB sale pick up some Sunday Riley, but that's some really good oil. So I think that's what I'm going to do um, because I have some gift cards for my birthday that I might use, um, but um, this is a very good oil. But Sunday Riley is bringing it up a notch. Again, has the price tag to prove it, but it's worth it. Um, serums. Love my serums. I love, love, love my serums. And in the summer, spring, um, I, I use the serums, but if I forget a day, I don't care. Fall and winter, I don't forget. Um, this is the one from Astrowood Naturals. It has Matrixyl 3000, um, Argeraline, that's kind of like the Botox, um, and Vitamin C, and Hyaluronic Acid, um, that is what this looks like. So Okay, so the dreaded time when your memory card is full, that happens. So anyway, um, just really remember to pack on the serums. Now again, nighttime is my main time when I put stuff like that on. But again, I do put hyaluronic acid on every morning as well. It's just something that I'm used to doing, so... Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, let's talk about a primer that I use um, for the under eye area because if something's going to get dry, that under eye is going to get real dry. Um, and this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. 
it is hydrating. It really is a beautiful primer. Three bucks in the grocery store. Really? Come on now. I like it. Not everyone sees a difference, but I do. That's why this is probably like third or fourth one that I have used. So highly, highly recommend this. Um, let's not forget your lips because you don't want dry lips because you can't put anything on it and it make it look good. Two that I am really loving um, and I'm going to continue to use in the fall and winter. One is the Walgreens um, one that they compare to the EOS Balm. Much better than the EOS Balm. The Walgreens, um, it's more waxy. It's going to stay on your lips longer and it really does moisturize your lips. Truly is beautiful. Um, and the Milani lip oils are fabulous. There again, something that I have heard mixed reviews on. But you put this on, um, I will put it on at night, one of the other, and just let my lips just get saturated with moisture all night, and my lips are fabulous in the morning. Um, they do stick around, so I really do recommend. Please don't forget your lips. Another thing that I don't want you to forget are your hands. It's very important to have a good lotion. Um, this is a good all year round lotion, the Skin Cosmetics um, Hand Restore. Um, I really do like Caudalie's, um lotion. It's in the white vial with our uh, white tube with, um, I believe, pink flowers outlined maybe. But um, that's a really good lotion as well. I do not have that right now, but um, we'll be purchasing that soon for the winter. So this is a good all year round. I think the Coley is just a little bit more moisturizing. And you can definitely buy something at the grocery store. Um, Eucerin has a good dry skin lotion. I may actually try that. I heard um, on YouTube a couple of people talking about it. It's a little harder to rub in, but it really does pack in moisture, and that's something you can use all over your body. Um, last but not least, so we have to remember mask, right? I talk about mask all the time. I do a Beauty Maven um, mask subscription every month. This is one of their masks. It's just an example. I have tons of mask back there on my um, Pottery Barn shelf thing. So um, let me know if you want that video <laughs> of my mask collection. So this is just one of my masks. Um, I prefer to use them when I take a bath in my tub back there because I can just relax. The water's hot and it's steamy. Um, so it's really opening my pores and the goodness if in, the, in the facial mask just soaks in. It's just fabulous for your skin. Um, I really am going to hone in more doing that in the fall and winter because, of course, my skin needs it more. If I do not do it in the bathtub, say I'm walking around the house or something, you can't just walk around with a, pa a sheet mask on your face because it's going to fall off, right? So I use this frightening looking thing. Um, it's something that I purchased on Amazon. You just put on your face. You put these around your ears. You can walk around. You can dance. You can do whatever you want to do. This is not coming off your face. So I really like this. Um, I actually purchased two on Amazon, and this is my first one. I've been wearing this for over a year. I rinse it off after every one, hang it up to dry, and it stayed beautiful. And it was less than $15, I do believe. Fabulous. But face... Um, Got to remember also under eye mask. If you're aging, under eye mask are where it is at. Don't forget this, especially in the fall and the winter. I purchased this one on Hope Look. Um, it's one of the Asian brands. Really do like the Asian brand for mask. I really do. I just find, I'm going to get hate here, but the Korean mask really just work better for my skin. It just seems like they're more potent. They have more skincare benefits in them. So I really like to use these. 
Um, when it's not fall and winter, I will use them like if I'm going to have a special occasion or I'm going out or I really want to look good. You know, I'll use these and it really plumps up the under eye with the fine lines. Um, but again, face is not the only place, right? I have decollete mask. This is um, papaya plus aloe plus vitamin C. It's just a little sheet that sits across your neck and decollete area because what you put here, you have to put down here. All these serums and stuff, the Hydra Surge or the um, uh, moisturizer, bring it all down here. And you know, I didn't tell you the moisturizer that I'll be using this fall and winter. I will tell you that in just a second. But mask, decollete area. They even have foot ones. So again, they have the moisturizing foot booties. They're not masks, they're just moisturizing foot booties. You have to be sure to remember to do that because the bottoms of your feet during the fall and the winter, what? You don't wanna to have to go get a pedicure and they break out that cheese grater on your feet, right? Yes, I call it a cheese grater. <laughs> So basically, I'm telling you, head, toe, don't forget the hair, that gets dry as well, more of a moisturizing shampoo, moisturizing conditioner, hair mask, um, hair oils, yes, um, face, hands, feet, body, lotion, very important. Um, the moisturizer that I am going to be using this fall and winter is one that I actually had a sample of and liked it very much. It's the Clinique Hydro Surge. Do not have that moisture surge. Moisture surge, right? I have to look at that. Um, I think I have this on the brain, which is Hydro Surge. It's a moisture, Clinique Moisture Surge or something like that. I am going to purchase that from Sephora most likely today because it's time I start using that um, to get some moisture in the skin. So, water. Again, don't forget your water because it starts on the inside. You got to get this healthy for the outside to look healthy, right? Okay, that is all I have for you. If you have any questions, let me know down below. But remember, fall and winter, you got to pack up the moisture. You got to just pack it on. Pack it on. You can't get enough. If your skin's oily, have you used a face oil yet? Right? So many things I can tell you. This could be like a several hour video. So we're just going to cut it here. Cut it. We're done. <laughs> Again, look at the ladies down below. They are fabulous. They're going to give you some great pointers. If you have any questions on anything that I showed you or anything that I said, please leave it down below. I'm trying to get better at um, returning, comment, or returning comments. Um, if you're new to my channel from the previous collab, which is the Fall Lipsticks, welcome. Stay a while. Let me know if there's anything you want to see on my channel. Um, and as always, love you all.